welcome to this edition of Clyde's Corner. In this edition, we're going to go over gig economy workers in New York. We're going to ask and answer a couple of questions. One of the main questions that we're going to answer is, should New York treat gig economy workers and independent contractors as employees like they did in California in order to give them benefits and where they give up their flexibility? We're also going to talk about portable benefits. In New York, for the past 20 years, we've had a portable benefit system for independent drivers. Um, and our Uber and Lyft drivers today get workman's compensation through something called the Black Car Fund. So there's going to be three parts to this video. Part one, we're going to interview two independent contractors. First, we're going to interview Tom, who's a tasker with TaskRabbit. And we're going to interview Alana, who uses VIP kids to make extra money. In part two of the video, we're going to interview Ira Goldstein, who is the executive director of the Black Car Fund, the portable benefit system that we have right here in New York. In the last portion of the video, we go undercover in actual Uber and Lyft drives and speak to directly to the Uber and Lyft drivers to find out what their perspective is. Some of them heard of it, some of them didn't. I'm also going to show you that I myself am a Lyft and Uber driver and I took my first drives a couple of days ago and I'll talk about that, that experience. Hope you enjoyed the episode. You don't want to miss it. Check it out. What we know about work today in New York and across the country is changing. In the past, people were able to work for the same job for 20 to 40 years, then retire and have a pension and have other kinds of benefits. In America, full-time employees have benefits like workman's compensation, disability, sick days, pension. But now, more and more people are independent contractors. More and more people have flexible work environments. More and more people work for themselves. Work, more and more people work on, you know, use their laptops or travel. In New York State, our New York State Assembly had hearings about the gig economy. The New York State Senate had hearings about the gig economy. The governor mentioned that they wanted, he wanted to do something about gig economy workers in this year's state of the state. We have to see what the proper measure is in New York State, so I talked to a couple of independent contractors. So, like I said, you know, I went to school for music, um, kind of meant to be a transitionary thing, but, you know, I, I figured, okay, I'm going to school for music, and I was trying to pay my own bills, so I was working as a waiter. So I got to the end of my first semester, and it was, oh, I have a choral concert and three recitals between class and rehearsal, three weeks of 80-hour weeks, and it was brutal. So I went to my boss and I said, hey, look, I've got three 80-hour weeks coming up. I, I can't come in and work. School's more important. And he's like, okay, I understand. Take all the time you need and then find a new job. And I was like, yeah, that's about what I expected. I'm on the internet, I'm looking for jobs. And, and I saw a TaskRabbit had posted something and I thought, okay, so I get to set my own rates. I get to pick when I work. I get to pick where I work and I get to pick what I do. And I thought, nah, this is, this can't be real. This did a couple wait in line jobs where I would, you know, go to restaurants and, you know, put somebody's name down for a reservation. Uh, I sat in somebody's living room waiting for a cell phone to be delivered because they had to be at a meeting at work and the cell phone required a signature. So I watched TV for an hour and a half. It was pretty great. And at that point, I started expanding my skills out a little bit. I'd realized the potential of the platform. I realized, you know, okay, this is a platform where I can connect to people who need things done. Let me learn how to do things. So I started looking into, you know, what can I do? Uh, you know, because I'm not an electrician, I'm not a plumber. There are things I'm just not going to touch. But I, I started looking into what am I allowed to do without going to trade school. And so I started learning how to mount things on walls, how to paint, how to, you know, things like that. Um, and wall mounting for me became really the biggest, most profitable category. Um, 
Today I've done over 750 wall mounting tasks through TaskRabbit. In total I've done 1,177, which I looked up. I am employed full time with another company and I was looking for some side income. I have always worked a second job. Uh, I love to hustle and it was bringing me outside of the home and I was not spending time with my family and it was draining and daunting and I found VIP Kid through a friend and it really transformed my life because I could work my side gig at home in the comfort of my own home with my husband downstairs and I can set my own hours. I teach when he leaves for work in the morning prior to me having to leave for my day job. Flexibility is extremely important for me in this in this side gig. Um, it, it allows me to choose my own schedule. I can pick and choose what days I want to work, right down to I can change it that day if I want to, and I can be booked short notice for classes. Um, if I am, am sitting at home and my friend texts me, hey, uh, want, let's go out next weekend, I can close my availability and I can go and hang out with my friends or I can choose to work if I want to. Um, being flexible in this day and age is what, what life is about. You need to have that flexibility. You need to have a work home life balance and this is the perfect solution for it. I have formed the most wonderful relationships with students and their families. Um, I, I cry with them, I laugh with them, I, I sing happy birthday to their siblings, um, I, I chat with their moms on, on the social media for, for China, and I know that obviously right now they're going through some tough times. I offer support, I lend an ear. You know, I'm, I'm thousands of miles away and I didn't think it would affect me as much as it has. This has been the most rewarding side job I have ever had. I feel appreciated when a mom messages me and says, thank you so much. My child has gained so much confidence to learn English, so much confidence in life in general, that just warms my heart. The Black Car Fund is a workers' compensation fund that was set up in 1999 by New York State statute for the black car and limousine drivers in New York State that are independent contractors. We wanted to make sure that they the drivers at least had workers' compensation even though they were independent contractors. And that's why they came up with this model. So to start with, with the Black Car Fund, they get all the same benefits that uh, any employee would get um, under New York State workers' compensation law. Um, they also, what we've done over the years is we've added, they get also, uh, we pay them to take a uh, enhanced defensive driving class. We have a wellness class where they learn uh, how to do stretching and lifting exercises since they're handling heavy luggage. Um, they learn about Amber Alerts, they learn about additional safety, and they also get hands-only uh, hands CPR training from a, uh, a registered nurse. Uh, we've also added in over the years a uh, $50,000 death benefit that if the d driver dies while he's on the job, then his, uh, his family, his beneficiaries get the additional $50,000 on top of uh, any death benefit that workers' compensation law provides for. Um, we've also added uh, recently some, addition, some more additional benefits. Um, we have a mental wellness program for drivers. There was a rash of suicides amongst the four hire vehicle and uh, taxi drivers over the air financial situations. So we have group sessions that they can come to. We get them directed to go to if they need individual therapy based on their health insurance. If not, we take care of it for them. Uh, and what we also do is, besides just getting them out of the immediate crisis, we try to uh, get them to understand that they're businessmen and they're running small businesses. So we also uh, provide them, uh, they can take a course uh, how to run a small business and they also can take uh, English as a second language. Um, most recently, we've added, uh, they also have a, uh, they have a vision plan where the drivers are entitled to get a pair of glasses once a year and an examination once a year, um, or six months worth of contacts. We're in Lyft drivers are statewide are covered 
as of June 2017 when they were allowed to operate outside of New York State. So today, Uber and Lyft drivers get workers comp from the uh, Black Car Fund. If you look at your Uber receipts today, you can see that. You go to your Uber app and you go to settings and then you go to your trips and you pick one of the trips and then you go to receipt you'll see the trip fare the subtotal but you'll see this line right here the New York car fund and you see the amount that you already get that you send to the New York car fund for workman's comp for Uber drivers today Did you hear that they want to try to make you guys full-time employees? Did you hear that uh, New York is trying to change um, Uber drivers to become employees? Did you hear about that? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, California now, if you drive for Uber, right. they're trying to make it where you're not an independent contractor, you're an employee. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's in favor of us, right? It's supposed to be. They're supposed to say, so we're trying to see, trying to give yeah, people benefits, we, yeah, right? We people work benefits. very hard. I mean, you know. Wow, that's great news. That what it didn't happen yet. They're thinking, you know, they're thinking about it. From Sheehy Opticians, Albany, New York, providing oh, eyeglasses, contact. Oh boy, thank you for picking me up. <laughs> sunglasses and eyes. It's crazy. Since so now in New York, we're considering making you know rideshare drivers employees did you hear about that yeah what do you think about California that yeah it. well they're doing all kinds of weird things out there they're, they're constantly trying like new things to try to get around it I, I it's weird i'm hoping that uh i really don't want to be an employee well you know do you know that um you could get, I mean, you already have now, there's um, workman's compensation. Right, yeah, through the black car fund. Yeah. Thinking about in New York, they're thinking about, California, they changed, like Grubhub, Uber, Lyft, so that everybody's an employee. Yeah, I don't like that. You still get to make your own schedule? No. Uh, uh, no? Yeah, probably, if you're an employee, they, you probably can't, I'm not sure. So now you can make your own schedule? Oh yeah, I've always been able to, for three years I've been able to make my own schedule on that one. But what about, but they're saying that um, you guys don't get benefits? No. So if you were an employee, you would get benefits? Yeah, but I could go work at McDonald's and make $15 an hour. Sure. get benefits. I do this because my mom just came down with an autoimmune disease. I'm a phlebotomist. Oh, wow. But I can't work in healthcare anymore because it's just too much of a risk for me to bring home. She's an immunodepressant, immunosuppressant. She takes chemo drugs for it. So I hope they don't make us employees. I don't know what I do. So you're able to go home at any time and see her when you want to? Yeah. Now for Uber and Lyft a couple of months ago, and uh, Valentine's Day 2020 was the first time I actually took an Uber and Lyft ride uh, as, a, uh, as a driver. And I was scared to have somebody new in my car. I, I didn't record it. I took about six rides um, last night. And it was interesting. It was exhilarating. And I'll show you how much money I made. You can see that uh, it says from February 10th to February 16th. But really, I only rode on February 14th. In six rides, in an hour and 42 minutes, I made $43.50. And you can see each of my rides. You heard from two independent contractors, Tom and Alana, that value their flexibility over getting benefits. You also heard from different Uber and Lyft drivers that some of them heard about it, some of them didn't. You also heard that New York is a place that already provides Uber and Lyft drivers with workman's comp and other kinds of benefits, where we already have a portable benefit system for the past 20 years. New York must be a place where it's good for independent contractors, 
good for employees, and good for the community. In the next couple of months, we're gonna work hard to try to figure out what that proper balance is, and I hope that, uh, I hope to hear from more independent contractors, more employees, and more New Yorkers while New York State works through this.